Shown here off to the left side of the engine compartment is the fuel filter, left, and the accumulator, right. The working space is tight. You may want to remove the large black plastic blower hose that connects the blower motor to the fan. Make sure that you let the car sit for a couple of hours before you release the connections. If the fuel accumulator is working, the system still will be pressurized and fuel may spray out. Make sure you're working in a well-ventilated area. As always, have your eye protectors on and should be wearing gloves. The accumulator typically holds the pressure for about a half hour, but this time may vary among different cars. Be careful when you are removing the steel lines from the tops of the filter and the accumulators. These lines can become corroded and be very difficult to remove. If you can fit them in there, use two wrenches to disconnect the lines. Place one wrench on the filter and the other on the line. Using this method will reduce the probability that you may damage one of the lines or the accumulator. Sometimes a faulty fuel accumulator will cause various warm start problems on the CIS equipped 911. Try replacing your accumulator if you have problems with vapor lock or difficult starting when the car has been running for a while. Also keep in mind that the fuel pump check valve works in conjunction with the accumulator. A faulty check valve will generate the same systems as a faulty accumulator. A new fuel pump is roughly five times the cost of the accumulator, so most people replace the accumulator first. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.